phi is the magnetic field B times the area. This is because the field is perpendicular to the area. Now, so here the normal to the area and the magnetic field are in the same direction. Of course, if I have a magnetic field which comes this way, and this is, let's say, the loop is a slide, and it comes that way, now that makes an angle with the normal then. If I draw the normal, the normal will be this way. And now the flux will be B, the magnetic field, times the area, times cosine the angle. Cosine the angle between the field and the normal. If the field is normal, perpendicular to the loop, then the angle between the normal and the field is either 0 or 180. So in, in, in fact, it's, it's 0. We, the way we define the normal then is always along the direction of B. So the angle is 0 and cosine 0 is 1. So when, when the field is perpendicular to the loop, the flux is simply the field times the area. If it's at some angle with the normal to the loop or with the perpendicular to the loop, if it's at some angle theta, then the flux is BA cosine theta. In this case, we're told that the field is perpendicular to the loop, so the flux is B. Now, if the flux is constant, if nothing happens, all there is is a magnetic field and a loop sitting in the magnetic field, there will be no current, no induced current. To have an induced current, I need an induced electromotive force, an induced EMF. And to have an induced EMF, I need what? A flux that varies with time. So the induced EMF, E, is minus delta phi over delta T. Phi is just BA, so minus delta over delta T, BA. So the question, does BA, does the product BA, does it change with time? So when the time changes by an amount delta T, let's say delta T could be one, one tenth of a second or one millisecond. So when the time changes by delta T, does the product BA change? The answer is yes. Now, A does not change the area, but B changes. So the product BA changes. But because A does not change, so the only thing that changes is B. So the change in B times A is simply equal to A times the change in B, because only B is changing. So this is minus A delta B over delta T. A is pi r squared, where r is the radius. And delta b over delta t, b changes from 0 0.2 tesla, 0 .2 tesla to 1.2. So let's say the change in b is 1.2 minus 0 0.2. And this happens over what time interval from 0 to 0 0.5 seconds. That is, the time interval is 0 0.5 seconds. So this is 0 0.5 seconds. So it's minus pi. R is 0 0.1. It's 10 centimeters, which means 0 0.1 meters. So 0 0.1 square. 1.2 minus 0.2 is 1 over half. So this is minus 2 pi times 0 
which is minus 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.0628. Volts. Now, the minus, again, this has to do with Lenz law. I'll comment on it now. As far as the induced current I, it's just the absolute value of the voltage or of the EMF divided by the resistance. So this is 0 0.0628 divided by 3 ohms which is about 0 0.021, let's say, amperes. This is, the, this is the induced current in the loop. Now, what is this minus sign here? What does it say? As we said, this has a physical interpretation through Lenz law. Lenz law says that that the current will be induced in such a way that, and, and of course, the current, the direction of the current is determined by the direction of the induced EMF. So, so the EMF will be induced in such a way that it induces a current. The current will be induced in such a way that it will oppose the change that causes it. Now, what causes the current? A change in flux. What change? Is it increase, decrease, what? The flux is increasing. The flux is increasing. And because the flux is increasing, there's an induced current. So the current will have a direction so as to oppose that. How do you oppose that? If the flux is increasing, how do you oppose it? By producing a magnetic field which is opposite to the existing magnetic field. So if the magnetic field, let's say, is into the page, and the magnetic field is increasing and it's into the page, so that the flux is increasing, how do you oppose this increase by creating or producing a magnetic field which is in the opposite direction. So you want to produce a magnetic field out of the page. Now how do you do that? By having a current which is counterclockwise. If the current is counterclockwise, it will give us a magnetic field out of the page. And so you oppose the change then. The change means increasing field. The field is into the page, and it's increasing. So we oppose it by creating a field in the opposite direction, which is a field in the field out of the page. That's Lenz's law. 